Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Today we're gonna to be tasting the new Knob Creek Cast Strength Rye Whiskey. This is a limited release product from uh, Jim Beam. This was barreled in 2009 and released in 2018. It's likely nine years old, but we don't really know what time of the year it was barreled in 09 or what time it was dumped in 18. Um, so it, it's either eight or nine years old. I would guess closer to nine because that's the, the traditional age of Knob Creek before they uh, remove the age statement. Uh, but this is 119.6 proof, which is 59.8% alcohol. They all come from Warehouse A, uh, which I think is one of Fred's uh, favorite, Fred knows favorite uh, warehouses. Um, but this is a limited product. When it first came out, it was a little bit hard to find in stores. There was a little bit of a rush on it, but it's becoming more and more um, easier to find, I guess you would say, around the, the area that I'm in, which is Kentucky. Um, it's not to be confused with a single barrel, which is 115 proof. So th there's in terms of proof and, and alcohol percentage, there's not a big difference between the two whiskeys. Uh, the main difference here is that this is a single barrel that's selected by stores or clubs. Um, this is batched um, under the direction of Fred. And um, it's also considerably older because there's no age statement on this. Uh, this one in particular, I think, uh, was about five and a half years old. So most of those barrel picks are going to be a little bit younger than the cast strength rye. Uh, but let's give this a taste and see what we think. Now, as you can see, I've, I've finished about half the bottle on this, so I, I've tasted this before. Uh, the nose on this is, is really nice. It's got a lot of uh, uh, sweetness up front because Kentucky ryes tend to have a very higher percentage of corn than Indiana ryes. A lot of people are used to that 95% rye, 5% uh, malted barley mash bill from the Indiana ryes. Um, in Kentucky, they tend to be about 51% rye with a, a good amount of corn and a good amount of, of barley after that. So it lends itself to a sweeter, um, probably closer to a bourbon flavor. Um, in this case, there's definite hints of rye on the nose. You, you definitely get a little bit of pepper. You get some uh, candied orange, uh, some lemon uh, zest, uh, citrus peel. But predominantly what I get on the nose of this is leather, uh, vanilla, and there's even a little bit of maybe a, a chocolate uh, cocoa, dark chocolate powder uh, on this. It's, it's actually pretty nice on the nose. And when you taste this, it definitely carries through. You get a big burst of vanilla and caramel on the front of the tongue, almost just like you would with a bourbon. But it very quickly, um, when it hits the mid palate, it becomes a lot of that citrusy orange peel, um, almost candied um, citrus flavor, uh, along with a lot of black pepper spice that you would expect out of a rye whiskey. Um, the back of the tongue, that, that leathery note kind of becomes more, more cocoa, more chocolate than, it, than leather. Uh, and the finish is probably medium in length. It becomes very peppery, you get some, some oak uh, barrel tannins and some some barrel flavors on the finish and they're, they're primarily on the finish for a nine-year-old whiskey This is not very oak forward um, And that's probably pretty indicative of, of Jim Beam products as a whole. They, they don't tend to be um, all that oaky um, But uh, in this case, this is an excellent whiskey. I really like this. I'm definitely gonna buy another bottle They retail for right around $70 if you can find them um, This is gonna score 92 on the modern thirst scale uh, you can uh, check out that out and uh, all sorts of other whiskey reviews at modernthirst.com. If you like what we do, please consider supporting us on patreon.com slash modernthirst and check us out. Uh, we, we're posting reviews pretty often and uh, we cover everything from uh, bourbon and rye to scotch and world whiskey. So uh, thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed.